96. I'm Paul and then I work here for Inclusion Ireland and then I'm working there for 17 years. I was um, 42 yeah, when I got the first education yeah, yeah, with um, Inclusion Ireland. Yeah, that got me the course up in Mount George Square in the Adult Learning Centre. I learned a lot going up there, how to read, how to write, how to spell, and then how to pick up a pencil or a, a borrow that I saw used and know how to do that year before. Before, when I was in institutions until I moved out to independent living, I'm telling you, and people used to tell me what to eat and then what I shouldn't be buying. And then now I can buy what I like and then what I want and cook what I want. Yeah, there, there was one time, yeah, I, I wanted to go on holidays. Yeah, and then I had money. And then I'd seen this article in the Sun newspaper, yeah, for um, Beijing in um, China. And then it was a coach tour for nine days. And then they said, no, you can't go. Yeah, yeah, we have to talk to you, yeah, to the management about this. And then they wouldn't let me go. And then I booked it yeah, by the credit card and said nothing to the staff. And then they hadn't got an arm and, and then a leg to stand on because it was already paid for. And then they shouldn't be making decisions yeah, for people and telling them what to do because it's their life. And then I'm happy where I'm working at the moment. And I think that Inclusion Ireland are one of the best yeah, uh, organisations since 1961. And then that they're, they're very good. And then they taught me an awful lot. And I learned an awful lot from the staff. And then I think that they're A1. And I would give them 10 out of 10 yeah, for all the work yeah, they done with me and for supporting me for the last 17 years. Yeah, it has enabled me uh, yeah, how to speak out for myself and then make my own decisions. At the end of the day, I choose yeah, what I want to do every day. I was uh, um, 52 yeah, when I wrote the, the, the first book. I'm hoping in the near future yeah, to write my second chapter and then my second chapter will be about my new life living on my own. Um, I, the advice I would give them is to get out there and to go to meetings and get their voices heard. And then it's our voices, our choices 